All right, what is going on, LBHT crew? We are here to give you our thoughts, our recap on last night's game, the Ravens over the Bengals, 19 to 17. Uh, wasn't the prettiest of games, uh, but we came out with the win. I know you guys are are accustomed to our our immediate post game reactions, but we couldn't give it to you last night because we're old and uh, we were tired. <laughs> uh, but let's talk about it. Yeah, B, it wasn't Lamar's best game, but shout out to the defense. Salute to the defense. You know we are we we are critical of the defense. It's it's through no fault of any individual on the defense. But my thing is, and our thing is, that this organization. Uh, has built this team and they have uh, given the narrative that we are going to get it done by running and playing hard nosed defense. And that's just not what this, uh, what you can win, how you can win in the NFL, today's NFL. But I will say they held their end up last night, only holding them to 17 points. That is amazing in today's NFL. Um, so yeah, prop, prop to them for that. Uh, B, what, what, what are your thoughts on, on last night's game? Yeah, you know, I, I pretty much agree. I mean, I think Lamar uh, had had three bad plays. Uh, you know, he had the the two overthrown uh, plays that would have been touchdowns to Devin Duvernay and Talon Wallace. The Devin Duvernay pass was, you know, that that's a much harder throw than people made it out to be. Yes, uh, he absolutely should have hit Talon Wallace. There was no excuse for that. Uh, and then he had the the interception that he threw high. Uh, outside of that, I, you know, I thought he played pretty well. Outside of those three plays, the defense, you know, they were great for most of the game. Uh, they did, you know, uh, and this has always been a big thing with me and the and the Ravens defense. You can't give up the lead at the end of the game. Uh, now they they there was enough time. They got the ball back. They they kicked the field goal. They won. But that's the the point where you're really counting on them. Uh, but no, they they did play really well, especially considering the opponent, uh, particularly Jason Pierre-Paul. Uh, he had a he had a really nice game. Marlon Humphrey had a great game. Um, you know, so yeah, I, I thought overall the the defense really kind of carried the team this week. Uh, and and you know, the offense had some a couple of bright spots, but you know, they they were they were struggling quite a bit against Cincinnati. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I see your point about the defense, and that's what we talked about, right? Is you can look at it and say, hey, Joe Burrow didn't didn't play great. He had just over 200 yards passing. He had a touchdown and interception. He he did he did not look good. Jamar Chase, he was buttoned up, right? They locked they locked him down. Um and um Tyler Boyd didn't do much either. Right. T. Higgins, uh, did he get hurt in the game or was it was yeah, he, uh, I believe I believe he he was hurt and left pretty early. Yeah. So not a whole lot going on there. Um but the thing is right in a crunch time that's when we need the defense to really hold it down now again them giving up a touchdown at the end of the game there i think um the way that the game was going and the way harbaugh called his game he was expecting it right so it, it didn't really come back to bite us um and this is what we've been saying about this defense as well is they don't really believe in a defense like that because it came down to a fourth and inches you have to be able to get fourth and inches right you 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 have to be able to get fourth and inches. You're right there. If they convert that score touchdown, um, then you're up ten points. That's pretty much ball game right there. Yeah. All right. Um, but he said no. Take the field goal. Take the points. And when they go down the field and score, we will have time to get into field goal range. Kick this field goal and game over. And that's what happened. So mm-hmm. you know Harbaugh's going to get a lot of credit for that. Um, and that's fine. I, I don't think he, he he made the wrong decision there, but it, it, it speaks to how this team is constructed. Um, you constructed it one way, but you don't really believe in that way. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> it, but yeah, Lamar, not too worried about it. Um, I think again, this is where this is where we're lacking those special type of players because he wasn't on. He wasn't on point last night. And, you know, when he can't be perfect, nobody else can really make those type of plays, whereas these other teams have those players uh, that can make those plays. And and, and look, I'll say this right now, because a lot of people are going to crush Lamar for the for the game. Um, every quarterback has those kind of nights. Right. People are going to make it seem like, oh, Lamar, it just is another example of how he's not accurate and he's not consistent. 
everybody makes those those kind of throws. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers overthrows his 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 players sometimes. Pat Mahomes overthrows his players sometimes. Like that's just that's just part of the game. Sometimes you have off nights and you need players to bail you out. But Lamar did have somebody to bail him out. Be Justin Tucker. <laughs> that man is so automatic. I mean, and he's so cool. He knows he knows instantly as soon as he tries out on the field. Three points, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Um, that is that is a weapon, another weapon that's been squandered over the years, I will say, because, mm-hmm. I mean, he's been great for us. And yes, he's won a Super Bowl with us. I mean, but we could have done a lot more winning if this team was built the way it, it should have been over the years. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, also on the offense, you know, Ronnie Stanley came back. He looked, yes, he looked pretty good. He looked uh, good. In yeah, the snaps in the snaps that he played, he was on a I any mean, snap count along with J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins also looked really good uh, for the limited snaps that he played. Uh, but no, you're you're absolutely right. When you have a player like Lamar Jackson and you have another player like Justin Tucker, I just don't understand not stacking up the offense around him. And the thing that's concerning moving forward is not Lamar. I mean, Lamar had a lot of really nice throws yesterday. Yes. Uh, it was just, you know, he missed the, the, those few. But the, the thing that's really concerning is who's going to be the guy on offense moving forward if Rashad Bateman, you know, misses a, misses a long time. Um, Devin Duvernay, I'll, I'll say he, he continues to step up and, and, and yes. maximize his opportunities. We are but, very happy with Devin Duvernay. Yeah, but again, he's not, a, he's not a number one receiver, you know. Yeah. Um, you can't. You you know. You already know. You can't rely on James Prochet. You can't rely on Tyler Wallace. You can't rely on Demarcus Robinson. So the, the question is, moving forward, who are they going to be able to rely on? Because yeah, it's a big win, and Baltimore's in first place, but it is over a team in Cincinnati who's been struggling. You know, they yes. they have not found their offense yet this season. Um, you know, that Joe Burrow hasn't played particularly well. Those receivers haven't gotten loose through the first five weeks of the season. Uh, you know, I, I think eventually they'll get into, they'll find their rhythm and they'll start clicking like they did last season. But I mean, they, they haven't yet. Uh, the the Who they need to have their sights set on is a team like Buffalo and a team like Kansas City, who are playing well, you know, particularly in Buffalo. If, you know, if the rumors are true and they, they're calling Carolina about trying to, trying to get Christian McCaffrey, um, they're saying there's no actual talks going on at this point. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, no, Baltimore got a big win. Uh, you know, the, the defense really stepped up. So, it's, you know, it's always nice to see that. And, you know, they should be they should be set up for a nice long run of uh, 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 of wins. And before out. we get into that, uh, I want to I give the proper respect to the defense because they did ball out. They absolutely balled out. And it was the old heads. All right. <laughs> Clap it up for the old heads. All right. We had uh, we had Uncle Bynes out there getting the sh- to getting the sack. He absolutely destroyed Joe Burrow on that sack. He came through unblocked and crushed Joe Burrow. That that was a a a Bart Scott esque type of hit. Okay, not not quite as hard, right? But it reminded me of that. I haven't seen I haven't seen a player on this team blow somebody up like that in in, in a while. It, it seems like forever. And Marcus Peters, who hadn't practiced all week, really. Uh, held his own against Jamar Chase and Marlon Humphrey. When when Marlon Humphrey uh, when he went to his side, he held him too. He had that one nice catch on Marlon Humphrey, but that didn't really, um, you know, that I don't think that was a was that the drive they scored a touchdown? Yeah, it, it yeah. was, it was. But he didn't score on that play. But, but, it, was, I mean, it, was, but it was really, it was really nice coverage on that play. They just, yeah, they yeah. they made the play. Yeah, uh, they had a nice goal line stance uh, a few series before that. Mm-hmm. Uh, where, where they stopped them. That's something you, you just don't normally see nowadays, but I was very happy to see that. That's the type of defense that they have to play, right? Yeah, when they tried the uh, the, ball to, the, the the Greg Roman slash Andy Reid shovel pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the minute he, you know, it's funny. The minute he did that, I knew it wasn't going to work. Like, how many times do you think they see that that play in in, in practice? And they and they tried the uh, you know the Philly special, trying to get Tyler Boyd to throw it to to Joe Burrow, and he got. I mean, he, he didn't get blown up, but Marcus Peters blew up the play. Yes, uh, yeah, they, they, yeah. They were they they were not fooled at all 
on either no. one of those either one of those plays. Hey, um, excellent but, job to the defense, man. Yeah, there 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 is some bad news though. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marcus Marcus Williams, uh, I believe, it was a dislocated wrist. Yes, he is going. He's he was placed on IR. Uh, they said he's going to miss significant time, but he should be back later in the season. So, you know, obviously we wish a, a, a speedy recovery to, to Marcus. Uh, you know, and now we're, we're going to see, you know, what uh, Kyle Hamilton can do getting thrust into that, into that, uh, that main role, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Um, didn't see his name called too many times. I saw him in one play. Um, he had like a, I think it was like pass interference, a holding call. You know, I, I don't, those, those, those type of plays don't really bother me. In fact, there was a few holding and, and pass interference calls last night, but that's how you have to get it done in today's NFL. You gotta, you gotta play with the understanding that those flags are going to happen, but you're going to keep playing your, your game and understand that the ref isn't going to call it every single time. And as long as you're taking them out of their rhythm, it's worth it. And I, I think they understood that last night because they were they were not in rhythm. So overall, hey, look, good win. Mm-hmm. Uh, it it could have been a blowout, um, you know, or at least a, 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 we could have won by significantly more points. But you know, I'm, I'm not going to complain about a win. Next week we're on to the Giants. We're going to uh, talk about that more in detail on our Wednesday show. All right, so uh, make sure you are tuned in. Make sure you are subscribed. Because we do our live show every Wednesday night, 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, but, yeah, that's it. You got any more thoughts on this, B? No, I, I think that's about it. You know, it was a, like I said, a really nice win for Baltimore, and they are, they're really set up to go on a nice, uh, a nice streak here. All right. So that is our quick uh, recap, our quick wrap-up of this, this game. And, um, yes, like B uh, alluded to, we could be in line for a, a, a nice little win streak here. So fingers crossed. We'll discuss it more on Wednesday. Y'all enjoy your week, and we will see you then. Peace out. <laughs>